Today I will be reviewing Pipedrive. I will base my review based on the customer experiences listed on G2, Captera and Trust Radius. I will break down the advantages, the downsides and the overall satisfaction of Pipedrive. So if you're interested in using Pipedrive, make sure to watch this entire video and I will tell you if it's the right tool for you. So let's get started with G2. G2 is one of the most popular review websites when it comes to softwares. Over here we have like 1664 reviews on Pipedrive. So let's start off with the ratings. As you can see, it has like an 8.8 .8 out of 10 of the ease of use, an 8.3 of the quality of support, an 8.7 on the ease of setup, and uh, both the ease of use and the ease of setup are above the CRM average. When it comes to the reviews, we have 664 reviews, and based on those, like almost a thousand reviews are five stars. So that's like a pretty good rating. Like overall, out of all of those reviews, it gets a 4.2 out of five, which is pretty good if you ask me. Before I read the reviews, let me quickly summarize the pros and cons of Pipedrive according to the reviews on G2. So the pros are the sales process, it's user-friendly, the user interface, the integration, and to keep track of things. The cons are it also takes time, so the reviews are a bit mixed on that topic. Some think it's user-friendly, the other ones think it's not user-friendly. So there are like a mixed results based on the amount of time it takes to learn it and about the usability of Pipedrive. So people also have some integration issues and it might be a bit expensive. So let me read some of the reviews. So this person, Joseph, he recommends Pipedrive. He gives it five stars because it's a great value for the price and it's fast and easy to use and it's focused on the experience of real salespeople. What he dislikes is it lacks some capabilities in terms of like automation. And let me scroll down to another review. This one also pretty positive about Pipedrive, gives it four out of five stars. So what he likes about Pipedrive is the visual pipeline management, the email integration and the automation. But what he dislikes is that it lacks some advanced customization within the tool itself. This is something that I see within many reviews and I will be explaining that later on. Here's another review that finds the billing a bit sketchy and he had some issues with the billing and the integrations through Zapier. So what he also says is that the customer support is not helpful at all. This is what I have been seeing to more reviews as well. Um, and also let me check another review. These ones are all positive and that's also pretty good. Visual sales pipeline, sales reporting, integration, mobile app. Those are all like positive reviews about Pipedrive, so that's really good to have. Here's another negative review about the customer service. That's something like once again, I keep seeing about Pipedrive, like as in a negative. Um, let me check this review, for example, customer service as well. Uh, not having like a proper person that you talk to, having like a bot that you talk to. And also it takes a long time to get in touch with someone of support. So besides the customer support and the pricing of Pipedrive, I mainly see positive reviews about Pipedrive. For example, this person calls it the perfect CRM. Everything in terms of leads, clients, and prospects are all into one place, and it's very compatible, and it has good integration for the software as well. So these were the most reviews on G2. Like these are 600 reviews, um, which gives it a very overall rating of Pipedrive. Let me now move on to Captera to see what the ratings are over there. So on Captera, there are even more views than they have on G2. There are nearly 3000 reviews over here and it gives it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. And the reviews are mainly about the ease of use, the customer server, which is interesting because in G2 we see a lot of negative reviews about the customer service. But let me dive into that later to see if we can find some positive and negative reviews about their customer service. So in Captera, we can also compare the alternatives to Pipedrive. So for example, we got here HubSpot, Salesforce and Zoho CRM. And overall, out of these four tools, Pipedrive scores the highest in terms of the overall rating. Like compared to HubSpot, it is higher rated in terms of ease, ease of use and in terms of value for money. So that's a plus as well. And let me check the pros and cons of Pipedrive. People like how simplistic it is. They also like how easily you can customize the pipelines and how good its automation features are. Some of the cons are that it is difficult to understand when you use it for the first time. And also people who want to do integration, they struggle a bit with setting that up. And some people find it a very difficult CRM to use in general. So let's scroll through the reviews of Pipedrive. This person gives it a nine out of 10 in terms of likelihood to recommend it. This person an eight out of 10 and also Let's view a few more. 
This person gives it a 7 out of 10 in terms of likelihood to recommend, but overall in the overall rating and the ease of use. This person gives it a 7 out of 10 in terms of likelihood to recommend, but when it comes to the overall rating and the ease of use, then she gives it a low rating because she thinks like the overall cost can be quite steep and also the interface can be confusing from time to time. Also something that I see pointed out various times is that if you want to have a new feature to Pipedrive or if a new feature comes out, you have to pay extra for that feature. It's not included into every plan right away. So that's like a con that I see happening a lot of times. But overall the ratings on Captera have been very positive. So the last platform that I quickly wanted to go through is Trust Radius. On this we can see an overview of the ratings as well. And we can see out of the 62 ratings, 54 were positive ones and 8 were negative ones. Overall the review scores, 60% scores 9 to 10 and the rest is pretty much like a 7 or 8. So the reviews on here are very positive as well. So based on all of the reviews that I've went through on all of these websites, I will give you the advantages and the disadvantages and I will list them for you right now. So the main advantage is that you have an awesome visual pipeline. You get a great overview of the whole sales process. Another advantage of Pipedrive is that it is pretty fast and relatively easy to use. Keep in mind some reviews have mixed feeling about this. Some people say that it's not easy to use at all. Others think it is really easy to use. Another positive thing about Pipedrive is the automation capabilities. It has really good capabilities for maximum efficiency. Let's move on to the disadvantages of Pipedrive according to the customer reviews. Uh, many people complain that it doesn't have many integrations, that they have issues with connecting Zapier or other tools as well to Pipedrive. Another downside is that the billing might be a bit sketchy to some users. They find like the add-ons or the payment for extra plans or the payment for extra users might be sketchy or they have issues with canceling that or have issues with their invoicing on that. The last downside of Pipedrive is that their customer support is rated pretty badly on these review sites. I've stumbled across multiple reviews saying that their customer support doesn't do anything or that they have issues with solving their problems. So all in all, why do people use Pipedrive and who is it for? Well, it's specifically for people who want to organize their whole sales system. This is a great CRM tool to organize everything from your leads, your prospects, your sales, everything into one place. So Pipedrive is also really simple to use according to many users and they like the way it visually represents their sales. So are you not quite convinced of using Pipedrive? Then I have a great alternative for you. It is called EngageBay. EngageBay is an all-in-one tool that is amazing and has a budget-friendly approach, especially for people who want to have multiple features in their CRM tool. EngageBay is super user-friendly and has a great support system. So if you are a small business owner and you want to try out a CRM system, then EngageBay is the right tool for you. If you want to get started, you can get started with the free plan. Check out the link in the description and you can get started right away. If you like this video, then make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.